Adam's incredible. I mean, I was already such a huge fan of Adam with his prior films, and he's just been out of the box with, with his ideas. The writing of this script, it's beautifully written. I mean, the way that it's intertwined two absolutely strong creatures with a humanized background story and the way that they connect. This sort of idea of, of idolizing and at the same time the future with the mechanical side of it all. And then at the same time, personal stories intertwined. It's, it's unlike anything you've ever read before. And the way that Adam is approaching it is quite special because he's worried about the humane side of it. Um, I think that the experience and in his, in his incredible knowledge of film, because he's so well educated and he's such a geek and with, in a good sense, a nerd, and he's so informed that he's finally being given the chance with this film to kind of broadcast what he's got. And he's done such an incredible job. Well, I think that the people that are watching the, the, the next Godzilla film are gonna be really excited to explore a bit more about that whole Millie side of the story and Godzilla. And you get to really know her a bit more and where she's coming from and the post her mom story and all that, and it's really beautiful. I think that at the end of the day, this movie shows family values, human values, um, human interaction in scrutinizing circumstances. Um, it really puts uh, our morality a test in, in this story. You see every character being slightly compromised and having to make decisions. And even though it's based on Godzilla and Kong, you feel for the character. You feel so much, you care in this film. She's behind um, Apex and she works directly with one of the characters who was played by Damien Vichier. And throughout the film, we discover her real intentions, truly. And I think that what I loved about this character, first and foremost, um, it was cool to see a woman behind a company that, on this level, and obviously being a, um, a Latina woman, it's hard to find roles that are not stereotypical or pin you into a stereotype. And it was really empowering to see that someone with such energy and such presence and such force was this woman that kind of was running this complete company within, uh, on the boat with the character of Nathan and Dr. Andrews. And so I found it fascinating. And I think that it's basically when you get caught up in a situation where it's humanity versus our personal agenda, that what would you choose? And I think that it's in those moments that we really discover people's personalities. See, Godzilla is, he's, an, he's a misunderstood guy, I feel like. But I don't know, I gotta root for Kong. I gotta give it to Kong. Um, I love his, his strength in this film, is very, very beautiful. And the strength that Gia gives Kong to me is really, really special, but again, Millie's character gives Godzilla its own punch, so we shall see. We shall see the movie to know. <laughs> Hey, it's Lisa here with a movie extras fact. Now, while Independence Day's visual effects are littered with CGI, one of its more compelling scenes is a scene in which the aliens set fire to New York. Unlike the rest of the visual effects in the movie, that fire was real. The production team built a model city on a soundstage, installed pyrotechnics underneath, and flipped the city sideways while they lit it on fire. Hmm. Now, click here below to subscribe, and remember to tap the bell to always receive our videos in your feed.